So, in this short video, I just want to remind you how to use QField actually to bring QGIS on the field with your smartphone. So, QField is an application for a smartphone but only with Android exploitation system because QField, like QGIS, is free, so they use an exploitation system free, which is Android. Uh, so if you have Android on your smartphone, you are good. You can uh, set it on your uh, on your smartphone. You can go on Google Play or other library to to load the application on your phone, and then you will see on my phone. It's, it takes maybe two minutes to put it, and then you will see the logo to field on your phone. It will be here and ready. Open it and please have a look. They have some uh, examples that you can use to, to remind you how to use QField. QField will be a bit like your QGIS console. You will have raster layers, you will have um, vector layers like points, lines and uh, polygons, the three types of vectors, uh, and then you can consume it. The same as here, for example, I will make a, a QGIS um, project. Let me charge some map. Okay, for example, we are here. And then we want to create a new layer. Let's say with points of observation, species observation, species observation. Okay, so here each time you will be uh, on the field and you will see, let's say, a lion. You will say, okay, here I observe a lion, here a tiger, but you need more attrib attributes, which is important. I show you how to add new attributes. You have to open the, uh, you have to add. An attribute which which will be here let's say species okay it will be a text with maximum of uh, 10 letters okay and then let's say the date it's quite important here date of the observation date. okay it's quite important here to configure what you want to see uh, for your points or your uh, other layers because it will be here then on the field uh, When you will be on the field you will be able to edit each point with species and dates That's cool, but you cannot from the phone add something else. Let's for, let's say for example Oh, I want to add the observers uh, Jason or Mike or I don't know you cannot hear you will have to do it again from your console so here you will have all the, your layers, the same as your project, uh, but the attributes will be defined from your console, from your office uh, QGIS console project. Okay? But it's good. When you will be on the field, if you have the correct attribute, you can edit or consult. Let's say you want only the lions. You can say, okay, show me the lions. Later the tiger. You can sort. Okay, according to the attribute. Uh, and then you can edit the new observation, but you will be able to fill only what you already configure, like right now on my um, on my computer, on my console, on my QGIS project. Okay, so let's say it's not here, the phone is not here. Now I finish I finish to configure my uh, let's say it's a lion. Okay, and here with the day from today, and here it's a tiger. Okay, and then it's over. Let's put another species. You see another observation. You see that they propose to you again all the attributes that I already configured. And then I want this. I, my project with two layers. I want it on my computer, on my smartphone, to go on the field and to do my observation of big cats in Burgundy. Okay, so 
For that, you need a plugin extension. Sorry, it's in French. Uh, you go on install and manage my uh, plugin. And here, in all the plugin, if you start to tip, oh, it's already here. To feel, uh, you will have only one. It's to feel sync. To feel sync. It's a tool, it's an application who will make a package, okay, ready to put into your smartphone. Because when you, you set up your Q field, you see that you can check your project, load the project, which are examples. But it allows you to check into the internal memory to find all the projects. It's exactly what we are going to do right now. We'll put a package from this project and we'll put it in the internal storage memory okay so but first you need the plugin plugin qfield sync to for an easy life now it's already on my computer so i don't need to install it but please do it on your own and then for your project which is here you will have to go in plugin it's here qfield sync and you ask package for qfield then he is asking you where do you want to put it? Let's say on the desk. Oh, not good. But anyway, uh, and please do it. You will ask which layers. Actually, it seems to be already here. You see species, 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 species. It's here. Strange that there is no uh, shortcut. Mm. Okay, so this I'll put it, it uh, in a folder called uh, cats, let's say, and I put it here. Okay, now either with Bluetooth or with a USB cable. Connect your computer with your smartphone. Me, I do it with the, the USB cable. Then, you ask your computer to be nice and to recognize your phone. Okay. File transfer, yes, please. And here's noise. Okay. Then I will copy my folder, this one, the package of you feel in the internal memory. You, you can see it's here, cat. I check, everything is here. Uh, 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 you remember? Oh, 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 oh. something is missing. Oh, species also. Oh la la. Good. Uh, oh, I'll do it again. If one is missing, remember in your GIS project everything is back. Uh, okay. And now I got uh, SHP, SHX, everything, so I need five. It's okay. It's now in my internal storage in my smartphone so you go on Q field you open Q field with your phone okay let's say it's unplugged and then you ask load a project open project so open from my uh, internal storage okay where is it so I look among the folders where is cats 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 okay and voila et voila I have exactly the same as right now as uh, what I made okay you have to open the shortcut uh, it's the same as what you have here. I have my map and the species observed. 
okay zoom on the layer and then here when I will be on the field I will be able to edit my uh, my new points and then put it back here to put it back you will need this one okay synchronization synchronization uh, so each time you make a new point a new observation then it's saved you have to extract it to put it on your computer and with this icon you load it and you will have your no new point accordingly to what you have done on the field so that's quite convenient isn't it you turn 